Hi there. I'd like to introduce you to the AirCheck Wi-Fi tester from Fluke Networks. AirCheck makes Wi-Fi troubleshooting simple. In this video, we'll introduce you to the basics of AirCheck, show you how to check for coverage issues, performance problems, and even look for wireless security issues in your network. AirCheck is lightweight and portable, so that you can take it out on your network where the problems are. It's got a 5-hour battery life and supports 802.11, A, B, G, and N networks. So let's see AirCheck in action. One thing I really like about AirCheck is that it powers on in under three seconds and immediately starts monitoring your network. You can see the progress of that monitoring in the lower center of the display here. There are four main functions on the home screen. You choose the one you want by using these arrow keys and then pressing select. This key will take you back to the previous screen and this key will take you to the home screen where we are now. Now one common question you'll find when troubleshooting is, can I see any Wi-Fi in this area? The networks test will tell me. You can see a list of all of the available networks that AirCheck can hear. It also shows the signal strength and the type of each network. Now I'll highlight the Acme network here and press select. That gives me a list of all of the access points on the Acme network, sorted either by name or by MAC address. Now let's say you're getting complaints that people can't connect to the network. My AirCheck can connect by just pressing the connect button here. And you can see the process of the connection on the display. First we'll connect to the access point, then we'll get an IP address from the DHCP server, and finally AirCheck will find a list of targets that we can ping. By pushing this button marked start tests, I can then choose one of those devices and begin pinging it continuously. While I'm doing this, AirCheck shows the rate of the connection and the connection quality. And you can see now the connection quality is going down. Sometimes you can get a wireless connection, but the quality isn't acceptable. AirCheck can help you figure out why. One possible issue could be too much traffic. Let's go to the channel screen and see what's happening. Here you can see how much Wi-Fi bandwidth is being used. Blue is Wi-Fi traffic and gray is interference. You can see here that channel 6 is very, very busy. The little circles indicate the number of access points on each channel. By choosing a channel and then pressing select, I can monitor the traffic level and the level of interference on that channel over time. I can also get a list of the access points on the channel by touching AP list here. That way you can decide if you might want to move or change some of the channels for some of these access points. AirCheck can also alert you to the presence of interference. Everything looks fine now, but let's say someone in the office gets hungry for a little microwave popcorn. Check out all that interference in the 2.4 gig band. Maybe we should make that microwave popcorn a little later. And now you can see the interference is going away. AirCheck can show you if there are potential security problems on your network. Let's return to the network screen and I can get a list of all of the networks and also see what status they are in terms of security. Those with the unlock symbol indicate an open network, whereas the lock symbol means that the network is using secured encryption. Now if I scroll over, I can also see the access control setting for each network. The ones that show up, like the Linksys here, with this yellow triangle, could indicate a rogue access point. So I'm going to select that one and then pull up some details about it. Since I think this is a rogue, I might want to track it down. And for that, I can use the locate function here. On the locate function, I can see the strength of the signal. Let's try and track it down now. So as we move closer to the access point, the signal gets stronger and stronger. Once I find the access point, it's just a simple matter of disconnecting it, and that's the end of my security problem. While we've been doing all this testing, AirCheck has been remembering everything that it's heard. You might want to save that information to share with someone else. And it's a lot easier than trying to remember it or write it down. If I press the Save Session button here, all of that information is stored into a file in AirCheck. Then I can transfer that information to a PC and use it to generate reports, detailed reports for troubleshooting, or summary reports for management. And that's just an intro to the AirCheck product. There's a lot more that it can do. So to find out more, visit